What's up guys, Jackson here with the Toaster Bros and today we're going to be doing a review of this Wooting One keyboard. Hope you guys enjoy. So as you guys know, Matt and I have done plenty of keyboard reviews on this channel. So what makes this keyboard any different than the others? Well, first off, it's called an analog mechanical keyboard. So what exactly does that mean? Well, the keys on this are mechanical, but one of the big differences is the keys do not just fall flat on their face. They actually have a gradual linear travel to them. So this means in a game, let's take Rocket League, for example, when you're wanting to move the car rather than just pressing it and basically going full speed with this keyboard, it's linear. So I can actually gradually press the key down almost as though I'm using a game controller pressing the thumbstick forwards and it'll actually go from a, a slow speed to a fast pace. And what's cool is even though the keys are linear and like I said they have travel to them, it actually still does have mechanical switches that do feel and sound pretty good. Okay, so here's a few of the things that they include with the keyboard. This is a keycap puller, so this is actually pull individual keys out. We have two different sides here. And then they include four of each of these switches. So this is kind of cool. So we have an analog one and then we have a digital one here. And it's fairly easy to spot the difference. So it looks like this one right here is the analog one. Um, and you can kind of tell this by looking at the fronts of them. Uh, this one's analog, this one's digital. And of course, like many other mechanical keyboards, you can swap the MX keycaps out for different ones. And as far as the build quality of the keyboard goes, it does feel really nice. It's basically just like an ABS plastic on top is what I'm assuming. Um, and then it's fairly small. It obviously does not have the number pad over here. It does have the little stands on the back to be able to make it go uh, flat against the table or have it raised, which I prefer uh, my keyboard to be raised a little bit. And obviously it has a really nice matte black finish. So now that we've gone over the physical features of the keyboard, I'm going to show you guys the absolutely amazing utility that they have that goes with this keyboard. So this special keyboard driver is called Wootility and I'm on version 2.34 right now. And you can see we have the actual full layout of the keyboard here. It looks just like the actual keyboard does. And what's absolutely amazing about this is I can literally go through and change each individual key to be whatever color I want. So like right now, for example, I have the actual keyboard on a rainbow effect, which I'll show you guys that in just a second, but I just changed the backspace key to be its own individual color. And then of course, we actually have effects here. So we can do a wave effect, we can do scan, we can do breathe, we can basically do every single effect under the sun, and then we can literally change every single thing within this. Like I can do uh, the type of pattern with the wave, we can do if it's going left to right or right to left, and then we can actually change it because slow, medium, or fast. To change the brightness, it's also very linear. It has a really gradual effect to it and can go from absolutely dark to just barely lit up all the way up to 100%, and you can see the difference with every single percentage. So what's cool is you can actually change the actuation point. So with analog, obviously, from the very top of the keystroke, as you start pressing it down, that's where you get the gradual effect. But then, obviously, if you're doing something like typing or something like that, you can actually change the actuation point where the key activates to type something. And then, of course, we have key bindings down here, and then we also can change each profile to be a completely different color. Now I'm going to show you guys how you can change individual keys. So you just click on the color that you want. I'm just using the full RGB spectrum. I'm going to do like a maroonish color. So let's go ahead and do like the P key next to it. Uh, for example, like WASD keys, we could make all those the same color, which I accidentally did E to make that something else. So you can see it can be actually really useful if you want to have certain keys set up to where you can follow them easier. Like if you're playing a video game, you might want to have maybe all the other keys turned off or just one color and you could change your WASD keys and then have a few bindings like off to the side. Um, for example, when we play games like Fortnite, often we'll have the WASD keys to walk or run or whatever you want to do, go side to side. And then you'll have like CFR or uh, ZXC, just whatever to have basically like building key bindings. So I'm going to have a link in the description down below where you can buy one of these and also to the product page so you can read all about it. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really do enjoy this keyboard and like I said, the color is absolutely amazing and I just think all the features that it can do are just epic. This video, like, comment, and subscribe and we'll see you guys later.